Geographic location of Oman Map of Oman There was a Jewish presence in Oman for many centuries, however, the Jewish community of the country is no longer in existence. Some of the earliest Jewish history in what is now Oman is associated with the biblical slash Quranic figure Job slash Eof slash Ayyub. The tomb of Job is located in Jabaldo for 45 miles from the port city of Salalah. The tomb of Job. The subsequent, more documented Omani Jewish community was made famous by Ishak bin Yehuda, a merchant who lived in the 9th century. Bin Yehuda lived in Sohar, and sailed for China between the years of 882 and 912 after an argument with a Jewish colleague, where he made a great fortune. He returned to Sohar and sailed for China again, but his ship was seized and Bin Yehuda was murdered at the port of Sumatra. Map of the Route A historical journey to visit far-flung Jewish communities was undertaken by Rabbi Benjamin of Tudela from 1165 to 1173 that crossed and tracked some of the areas that are today in the geographic area of Oman. His trek began as a pilgrimage to the Holy Land. He may have hoped to settle there, but there is controversy about the reasons for his travels. It has been suggested he may have had a commercial motive as well as a religious one. On the other hand, he may have intended to catalogue the Jewish communities on the route to the Holy Land so as to provide a guide to where hospitality may have been found for Jews travelling to the Holy Land. He took the long road stopping frequently, meeting people, visiting places, describing occupations and giving a demographic count of Jews in every town and country. One of the known towns that Benjamin of Tudela reported as having a Jewish community was Musket located in the area of Oman in the northern part of the Arabian Peninsula. In the mid-19th century, the British Lieutenant James Raymond Welst had documented the Jews of Musket in his memoirs Travels in Arabia, Volume 1. He mentions that there are a few Jews in Muscat, who mostly arrived there in 1828, being driven from Baghdad, by the cruelties and extortions of the Pasha Daoud. He also notes that Jews were not discriminated against at all in Oman. Which was not the case in other Arab countries. The Jews of Musket were employed mostly in the making of silver ornaments, banking, and liquor sale. Despite the lack of persecution in Oman, the community is believed to have disappeared before 1900. During World War II, a Jewish-American army enlisted man, Emmanuel Glick, encountered a small community of Omani Jews in Musket, but this community consisted mostly of recent migrants from Yemen. Omani officials have begun to reach out to Jewish American and Israeli leaders. The American Jewish Committee recently hosted a meeting at which, Israeli and Omani leaders gathered at AJC to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Middle East Desalination Research Center, one of the success stories of efforts to deepen Arab-Israeli cooperation. Speakers include Syed Badr. Secretary General of the Foreign Ministry of Oman, Israeli Foreign Minister Tsipi Livni, and Charles Lawson of the U.S. State Department. Thanks for watching.